Welcome to On A Personal Note. I'm your host Fitzroy Prendergast. In this week's program, we'll be having two excerpts from listings at the Jamaica Stock Exchange last week. First, JFP Limited listed on the junior market on March 14th. Let's now hear from Metro Siaga, CEO of JFP Limited. I want to thank each and every one of you that have bought into and who will buy into our company, JFP. As I sit here before you, I will make this promise that we will work hard, work smart, be innovative, and do the things that will make you proud as an investor in our company. We're taking JFP to the world, and we're happy that you're coming with us. When we started 37 years ago, we could never have envisaged that we'd be here today. Never. But yet, here we are. This shows that creativity, hard work, tenacity, focus, and prayer can do things that you can only dream of. So let me use this opportunity to say to all of the small and micro companies out there, don't give up. Fight when things get tough. And you too can reach to heights that you never thought you could. A day later, Edufocal Jamaica Limited listed on the junior market. Let's now hear from co-founder and CEO of Edufocal Jamaica Limited, Gordon Swaby. I'm an adult in a spaceship with 2,000 other shareholders excited about the prospect of even more growth and major milestones. I want to thank God, my wife Kenisha, for her unending support, especially for standing by an entrepreneur who was scaling in a pandemic, for being my intellectual sounding board, editor, ranch receiver, chef, she's the reason I got fat. She's also the reason I'm now slim again. And the person responsible for making me, you know, the man I am today. I want to thank my son Alexander for reminding me why I do what I do. I want to thank my parents for being my number one entrepreneurial inspiration and acting as real world examples of what hard work, diligence and integrity can result in. I want to thank my co-founder, Paul Allen, for putting up with me all these years. Uh, I want to thank my brothers for their support, my friends. I want to thank my board, my dedicated, hardworking team who continue to rise to meet every challenge and opportunity. You'll notice that gratitude is a big part of my being and what I do because I believe it is important to say thank you. A listed edufocal is not just a belief or vote of confidence in me and my bullish dreams for Jamaica. It is a vote of confidence in the ingenuity and enterprising nature of our people and our abilities to create solutions that not only create positive return for investors, but also serving as real, as real world problem solvers in Jamaica's case, education. Today, we celebrate 10 years of making learning fun and we welcome the investors who will launch off into more learning and growth of us for the next 10. We will continue to keep our heads down and remain focused on creating shareholder and stakeholder value. Or said another way, we'll continue to ignore the noise, focus and execute. That's it. For on a personal note this week, join us next week for another very interesting program.